Okay, what is up traders? Let's have a look at this week's market breakdown and recap. So starting on gold, we're just gonna look at the four hour real quick. Last week we had a nice buy move where we were trying to sell and we got stopped out and market pushed to the top side. And we currently just broke through the area that was broken previously last week that came and it got tested as support and now market has pushed to the downside. I am currently expecting to take a sell from this supply zone up here. However, we do have a smaller time frame supply also in this impulsive move to the downside. So we will have to see how that plays out. Then looking at US 30, this is on the four hour. I'm clearly going to scale into the one hour. This morning, we took a quick sell to the downside from this area right here. Quick 110 pips, I believe, to this area. That is where I locked it in. And then we had another selling opportunity that I presented to the team, um, which they currently just got wicked into. So that is what is running on US 30. NASDAQ, I'm not looking at anything. There is a There was a potential buy move from this area and there is a potential sell from the zone or just a tap and go on this retest right here. There's also a small supply zone here as from here we have a move that took out this previous low right here. Then looking at GBP CAD, I was hoping for a break to the top side in order to catch a sell from this supply within the major supply zone and then sell it down here. Otherwise, what we might possibly get is a push to the downside and then I will buy it from either this minor demand zone here or this major demand zone here. I will buy it back up to this top supply here, which needs to get taken out eventually. GBP USD, let me just quickly go out to the higher time frames, show you guys what I'm seeing. So on GBP USD, we have a nice sell supply zone here. This created that impulsive move that took out these lows. So we have an opportunity to either buy from this demand zone here back up there and then sell it down, or we're going to continue dropping all the way down and then I will be looking to buy from this demand zone right here. Euro GBP, we currently have a sell. We are running on break even. We literally just entered on the tip of this four hour wick. This is a very simple uh, price, or well not price action, more like retail trading trade that I took. So on the daily, we've broken and we have our one, two, three that have, we have three candles that closed below the low of this trend line. And I'm currently waiting to see how this daily goes. We are running on break even. So all I need now is for it to push down and start taking out that low and then these lows right over here. And then I'm targeting a nice one, two, five on this one. Stop loss just above the previous day's wick and TP at our next demand right here. Looking at USD CAD on the daily, we have two potential sell setups coming up. So obviously we have this daily supply zone up here, which falls nicely in in line with our uh, little pin pattern, <coughs> pin and pattern that's forming. Sorry, with our wedge pattern that is forming. So let's quickly go in from the daily into the four hours. As you can see, we also have a smaller time frame demand while supplies in within the major supply. And then we also have this four hour here. So we have two selling opportunities at this point. We can potentially sell it down from here to take out these lows right here. So I'll put my, my TP just above the low because the lows right here. So just always above it because there's also a demand zone that is not yet tapped, but it also on a smaller time frame might have been a tap and go. Or we could obviously destroy this and then we could see a move to the top doing something like this. And then tapping and then from here, what I wanna see is something more or less like that to take it out and then we sell it down to the downside. So I'm just quickly gonna delete that. That is it for USD CAD. USD JPY, we have another potential, we have, we have like three potential moves here. We can possibly sell it down from this four hour supply or we can have it not take out this high right here. And then we can come back buy from this demand zone here that took out those highs 
and then obviously push through all the way up to this top supply which is where i'm looking to sell from now if we look at usd jpy on a higher time frame you can see this is our high well these are monthly highs so this is a, a one month's high previous month's low and another monthly low so let me just quickly show you that So you can see that right here, we've got a low there, we've got a low there, and then we're currently still busy with this month. So we're either gonna come back all the way up to target the previous month's high, or we sell it down and target the previous month's low. That's pretty much what I'm looking at for on USD JPY. Then if we go to GBP JPY, we also have two potential moves right here. We have a possible buy from this demand zone right here which now took out these highs or we can sell it down from the smaller time frame supplies and up here however my buyers will be more likely to have market turnaround to either buy from this area or this demand zone down here which would then obviously form a perfect uh, retest of this broken trend line and then we will take out this supplies and up here i'm not looking at your usd us 500 euro cad or euro jpy for the week and then USD are for those still holding the buy that was shared, uh, I believe, last week. I just want to check when we shared this. Yeah, the 4th of April. You guys are about to hit TP. And then obviously, please, let's not forget, we have this nice supply zone up here to possibly sell down from yet again to get a total move uh, that would look something like this. can do that and then something probably happening like this and then down and then all the way down to these lows right here so that is also a potential move coming up that's all for me this week on the forex pairs i'm not looking at anything else really gold we might actually remove that sell area a bit later because it is looking to push to the downside which is also right because we might then look to buy it from this demand zone up here to buy it all the way back up to take out this previous high right there. So both of these presenting or all these pairs on this for this week presenting like some really nice one to five minimum risk to reward trades uh, all looking fairly good. I do see we have some news on Wednesday uh, that is inflation rates and then this is on the 14th as well. Just some retail sales news. So I don't think it's any major news this week. We might have to obviously just keep an eye on what's going to happen. But overall, that is what I'm looking at for the week. And then, yeah, Euro GBP, nice daily trade. There's a lot that can still happen. Might actually have formed a nice little supply here. We'll see if it actually breaks, takes out some lows. Because if it does, we might have market push down and then come back for a retest. And that'll give us a more clear indication of where to place any stop losses. Looking at this now on the four hour, we might actually have something like this. Where we had a supply market tapped in and then we would have entered from here, stop loss there and sell down. Um, but I will obviously continue to monitor these trades as they play out. This is also a more like a daily swing trade, which could run for a couple of days or even a week. Um, but this could be a very nice move to the downside as we as i am seeing a big shift in momentum from market doing something like this all right and i don't see us bouncing off of this yet for a move to the top so i'm more expecting something like this to happen for the market to now shift down do this and then come target these previous lows which it needs to take out and then i need to take this out and this all the way until 82.82027 so that is it guys that is my look at the markets for this week what i'm looking to take and what we currently have running and then next week we will obviously recap on how these weeks trades went i'll catch you all in the next one